my name is Brooklyn. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm working with Brooklyn who's going to show us our example of habituation and dishabituation. And for Abby and I's examples, we decided to test out um, habituation and dishabituation on my cat Lulu. For these examples, I will be banging a spoon against a pan and testing to see Lulu's natural reactions to the stimulus. Situation is an elicited behavior which causes a pretty natural response, but as that um, behavior continues, the response typically lessens. Um, an example that we kind of mentioned in class or part of the PowerPoint is on campus when the train continuously goes by and um, as we get used to our room and into campus, we don't wake up to that train sound anymore. Um, kind of relating this back to when I'm here in my home in New Hampshire, uh, we have an airport probably 10 miles from my house and it's, I mean, it's a pretty, uh, it's a regional airport so it's pretty popular and those plain sounds, um, since they're so close to my house, those can definitely keep me up at night when I first move back home. But as I continue to stay here, I also get used to it just as the train. So after I banged the pop once, Lulu ran away and was really scared, but as I kept doing it, a few times she just would jump and she wouldn't run, um, which was very good to note. For dishabituation, I will be banging a spoon against a pan more than once um, compared to habituation and seeing how differently she responds. Dishabituation can be used or described as a distraction from the original event. Um, so Brooklyn will certainly show us this here with um, the pan and her cats. Um, but on with my example with the plane and the train, as I transition from the dorm room to my house, I go from plane to train, plane to train. So one can kind of distract me from the other. So when I leave home and go to campus, that first train going by, I'm not used to it. And then the same thing as I go back home, I'm not used to the plane. So as those two, they, they'll never cross paths, but they certainly distract you from that natural behavior that you have um, at the beginning. I also wanna add, we did give her lots of treats and lots of hugs after we did this because it did scare her. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that. <laughs>